The Senate Judiciary Committee today voted to advance Judge Amy Coney Barrett's Supreme Court nomination. This despite efforts from Democrats to delay the process until after the presidential election. All 10 Democratic members of the panel did not show up for the vote. All 12 Republican senators voted in favor of Judge Barrett. The process now heads to the full Senate floor where a rare session is expected over the weekend. News Nation Washington correspondent Joe Khalil joins us live from our nation's capital tonight. Joe, what is the process going to look like and when can we expect that final vote? Well, it is a, a bit of a complicated uh, Senate rules process, and you know, certainly going to get into that. Most likely going to end with a vote on Monday night that would send Judge Barrett to the Supreme Court. I want to talk about this morning and how remarkable it was. It's easy to miss that because everything now is a partisan fight. But we literally had a party today that just didn't show up for a historic vote on a Supreme Court nominee, and then you had the other party essentially ignore the rules and move that nominee through anyway. Uh, you know, it's certainly something that as we look forward to the future and uh, future nomination battles, this day is certainly not going to be forgotten. And I will end where I began. The committee did the right thing. In a room half empty, 12 Republican senators voted to advance Judge Amy Coney Barrett's nomination one step closer to the Supreme Court. All 10 Democrats on the Judiciary Committee absent in protest. That was their choice. Uh, we're not going to allow them to take over the committee. Senator Lindsey Graham, chairman of the committee, says advancing Judge Barrett was the right move. But he was, at times, somber about the state of our politics. It's just a shame that we've allowed it to get to where we have. Having failed to lay a glove on Judge Barrett during the hearings, have chosen to walk out on this process. And in so doing, walk out on the American people. Senator Mike Lee and fellow Republicans criticized the Democrats' boycott, but said it shouldn't detract from the judge herself. Judge Amy Coney Barrett is one of the most impressive legal minds in the United States. So we will fight this fight. Outside the Capitol, Senate Democrats, some of whom boycotted Barrett's confirmation vote, had their own message. McConnell is rushing through a nomination, but not a COVID package. So it's very frustrating because he's not listening to the will of the American people. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, among other Democrats, said rushing Barrett's nomination before Election Day makes the process illegitimate. So what's left is just to continue to speak out, to let the American people know that this process has been so abused. Democrats repeated arguments they made during Judge Barrett's hearings, that a Barrett court would result in Americans losing health care. The president said that he's only going to nominate justices uh, who will strike down Roe v. Wade and will strike down the Affordable Care Act. So, guys, because of how Senate rules are, this process likely starts tomorrow. Uh, there's likely going to be a special session on Sunday, and they close that off. Then they'll have 30 hours uh, where Democrats can make their final case. That brings us to Monday evening, which, again, is the day we expect a vote uh, to happen. Reporting live tonight in Washington, D.C., Joe Khalil, News Nation.